Finger joint replacement is a common surgery done for patients who have severe arthritis in their finger joints. And arthritis, as I mentioned before, can be osteoarthritis, which is wear and tear arthritis caused by age, or it can also be rheumatoid arthritis or autoimmune disease. So based on the pattern of arthritis, once patients have tried non-surgical treatment, i.e. injections, physical therapy, and they fail that, then we consider surgery. There are various types of finger joint replacements that we will use to replace the hand joints. These, these are these joints. There are more modern implants that involve metal and plastic components with cementation. They're also can be made up of other materials such as pyrocarbon. But the most common type of implant is made up of silicone, um, which is a flexible rubbery material. That's sort of the gold standard. That's the one that's been around the longest and most hand surgeons use that. We have different types of finger joint replacements, different sizes. So for example, for the PIP joint, which is this little knuckle joint, we have a smaller implant that fits into the knuckle. So we typically make an incision in the back. It has stems that go into the bone, so it would sit like this. It sits inside the bone, and then it would allow you to bend your finger. So imagine your finger is bending, this implant is bending like this, and it's flexible. This is a smaller implant that would go into the proximal interphalangeal joint. And for the knuckle joint, this knuckle right here, the implant is a little bit bigger. Looks very similar. So it would go like this. For some other joints, we perform fusion surgery. So this joint, the very distal joint of the finger, a lot of times we treat that with a fusion. So we have a screw that goes into it. It goes inside the bone, kind of like this, and it fuses the joint straight. Sometimes we also do fusions of these joints as well, but typically we do implants on these two because motion in these two is very important. This one, loss of motion patients tolerate very well. So we fuse it with a screw, and then this one no longer bends. It just stays straight, and then when they make a fist, it goes like this. So it doesn't bend here, but it bends here. So that's what fusion surgery does. Fusion surgery eliminates pain, but takes away motion. For both fusion surgery and for finger joint replacement surgery, rehab is extremely important. So I typically will immobilize these patients for about six weeks. First, it's a permanent splint and then it's a removable brace. Uh, I typically have my patients start physical therapy or specifically hand therapy about two weeks post-surgery. And then we gradually, gradually get their function back with a goal to return them to unrestricted use anywhere from three to six months post-surgery.